After a second unsuccessful season with the McLaren team, Daniel Ricciardo's contract was terminated a year early, leaving him without an F1 seat for the upcoming season. Mercedes and Red Bull appear to be the most likely landing places for the Australian as a reserve driver in 2023. Ricardo was said to be interested in various seats with teams that are projected to be toward the end of the grid. However, he has hinted that he likes the chance of joining a front runner as a reserve driver with the goal of securing a return to a competitive car in 2024. What Wolf just revealed with reference to Ricardo, make sure to stick around until the very end to find out. Let's get started. In Mexico City, the Australian driver turned in his finest performance of the year by employing a medium-soft tyre strategy that worked to his advantage. This provided him the pace he needed to move up to 7th place while negating a 10-second penalty for colliding with Yuki Tsunoda. A week prior, Daniel Ricciardo had one of the most miserable outings of the season in Austin, where he finished a dismal 16th, 10 places behind teammate Lando Norris. This race came just a week after Austin. Ricciardo stated that it was the first time he had felt so comfortable with the 2022 car and that it was a significant milestone for him. However, he also admitted that there were occasions throughout the year in which he had the sensation of being a passenger as he battled to come to grips with the McLaren MCL 36 Formula One car. I guess better late than never, he said. I'm going to take today for what it is. I'm going to enjoy it and appreciate that we did our pace and it was awesome and whatever. I hope it means that it'll be like that the next two races. Not to be negative, I don't even want to look ahead. I just want to take today for what it is and hopefully we've learned something from it. Even the points finish, even probably last year, I feel we were normally defending rather than attacking. So just to have an attacking race, and especially for me with this car to feel like I can attack a little bit more with it, it's just a nice feeling. When asked if he believed he'd proven a point, Ricardo responded, I still know I can get the job done. It's hard when you can't do it week in, week out. It's similar to Sebastian Vettel's last few races when he had amazing results and people were questioning if it was time for him to retire. Ricardo was seen speaking with Wolf in person earlier this month before the Mercedes team principal sparked rumours when he was photographed wearing McLaren driver merchandise prior to the Mexican Grand Prix. It remains to be seen whether the Silver Arrows will eventually poach Ricardo with a number of choices expected to be available to the 33-year-old as he weighs his next career move. However, he has stated that he will not be racing in Formula 1 next year after being released from his McLaren seat, but the driver who has won 8 Grand Prix races is still intent on remaining in the paddock by accepting a reserve role. Since his departure from McLaren was confirmed, Ricardo has been linked with potential reserve roles at Red Bull and Mercedes but he has yet to make any formal announcement about his 2023 plans. When asked about the rumours tying Ricardo to Mercedes, team principal Toto Wolff claimed the Australian was speaking to a few teams about a potential role, I believe also Red Bull. We like him a lot, he's a great character, Wolff added. However, we have yet to decide who will be the reserve and third driver. Mercedes is in need of a new reserve driver for next year since both of its present backups, Nick De Vries and Stoffel Van Dorn, have secured new positions. De Vries will compete in F1 full-time for Alfa Tori next year, while Aston Martin confirmed last week that Van Dorn would join the team as a reserve with Formula 2 champion Felipe Drugovic. Ricardo's mentality and F1 expertise, according to Wolf, would be really advantageous to any team that works with him next year. But I don't want to spread rumours because we haven't made a decision, he continued. Current Mercedes driver Lewis Hamilton indicated last month that he intends to continue with the team beyond the conclusion of his current contract in 2023 effectively closing off one of F1's top seats for the foreseeable future. Ricardo, on the other hand, does not believe his future in F1 is relative to what others do, stating he is not banking on anyone doing something so I can find my way back to a seat. I want to take the time necessary, keep a little bit of distance to the sport, and let's say rebuild myself, said Ricardo. But then yeah, if something makes sense in 24, come back with a vengeance and have some fun and hopefully race at the front. George Russell hinted strongly after the Mexican Grand Prix that Daniel Ricciardo could join Mercedes next season. The former Williams driver stated the decision to join the Silver Arrows was now in the hands of Ricciardo. It fueled suspicion that a deal between Ricciardo and the German manufacturer is nearing completion following conversations between both parties. The Mercedes driver made the remark when asked if he wanted Ricciardo to join the team next season. Yeah, I think it'd be interesting, Russell remarked. 
We'd want to see that, but Daniel must determine what he wants to do with his future. Simon Lazenby, the host of Sky Sports, looked puzzled at Russell's statements. I didn't hear that, Wolf responded. I didn't say anything, Lazenby added. The 33-year-old has had a difficult time since his 2018 departure from Red Bull, where he won seven of his eight career race wins in five years. He endured two fairly fruitless seasons with Renault before joining McLaren, where he has been frequently outperformed by teammate Lando Norris, despite winning the team's only race since 2012 at the Italian Grand Prix last year. While his stock as a driver at McLaren has definitely fallen, Ricardo's larger-than-life personality has cemented him as one of the sport's most popular characters, raising his value as a reserve option for potential suitors. With his beaming smile, he has become a runaway success for Netflix. Daniel Ricardo is an unexpected choice for the psychologist couch, yet that is where he has spent the most of the last two years. Ahead of the Mexican Grand Prix, the 33-year-old discussed the emotional anguish he's been through while bafflingly unable to find form at McLaren. Ricardo has been under intense scrutiny for the past two years. He mentions a failed mission, but does not blame anyone. When asked if he believes the squad was stacked against him in favour of teammate Lando Norris, he dismisses the idea. COVID restrictions barred him from returning to Perth to see his parents Joe and Grace and other family members for 21 months, which was inconvenient, but he had the support of close friends like his performance coach Michael Italiano, a 20-year pal, and Heidi Berger, his three-year girlfriend. She is the daughter of Gerhard Berger, a well-known former Formula One driver. Daniel Ricciardo has also highlighted the caring attitude of former Red Bull teammate Sebastian Vettel. They raced together at Red Bull before Vettel went for Ferrari in 2014. Ricardo, 33, stated ahead of the Sao Paulo Grand Prix that the German, who is now driving for Aston Martin, came out to him after he was abruptly dismissed from McLaren with a year remaining on his contract. He picked up the phone a number of times this year and was just a friend who cared and reached out like a real friend would, Ricardo explained. Some of his actions this year and some of the love he's shown me has been surprising. But yeah, it is just super nice. What happens next? There are no available race seats for him. Mercedes, for example, has expressed interest in hiring him as a reserve driver for next year. Another possibility is to become a TV pundit. ESPN and Sky are two options. Ricardo has two races left before handing over his McLaren seat to Oscar Piastri, who will partner Lando Norris in 2023. In other F1 news, Kevin Magnussen scored a shocking pole position in qualifying for the 2022 Sao Paulo Sprint, eight months after making a surprise return to the sport. Qualifying in Sao Paulo was held in difficult conditions with a wet track and the possibility of additional rain, but no one imagined that the guy to conquer the circumstances would be Kevin Magnussen for Haas. The Dane claiming the American team's first ever pole position after finishing last in the standings in 2021. Although Q1 began on a wet track, slicks were quickly fitted and Lando Norris led the first session until Max Verstappen took charge in Q2. The top 10 shootout was a completely different story. Kevin Magnussen was leading the timesheets after two minutes of Q3 when George Russell locked up and beached his Mercedes at Turn 5, bringing out a red flag, leaving the Dane puzzled. A short stoppage later and the rain began to fall. Magnussen's time would stand and he would earn his maiden Formula 1 pole position. Verstappen finished second, 0.203 seconds behind the leader, and Russell finished third in the sprint. Norris finished fourth for McLaren, with Carlos Sainz rounding out the top five. This meant Max Verstappen failed to take pole on a sprint weekend for the first time this year. Now let's hear your thoughts on Ricardo and his future in Formula One. Will he end up as Mercedes reserve driver next season? Tell us about it in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon so you don't miss any of our future uploads. Until then, take care and goodbye.